All right, Greg Norman and Saudi Arabia's collaboration to grow the game of golf and to bring people together yielded more unintended consequences with the announcement of the 2023 U.S. Ryder Cup team. On Tuesday, in Frisco at the new PGA of America headquarters, U.S. Ryder Cup team captain Zach Johnson announced the captain's picks for the final six spots on the 12-team roster. And someone is missing. Uh, well, actually, a few people are missing. Other than Brooks Kepka, who was a captain pick, no player from the Live Golf Tour made the American team. But somehow, Justin Thomas is on the roster. JT, you better at least split. The 2023 Ryder Cup scheduled for September 29th to October 1st at Marco Simone Golf and Country Club near Rome will be the first played since Live Golf took a three-wood to the model of the entire sport. Johnson said all of the right things on Tuesday, but this roster has friends of the PGA Tour written all over it. Anytime a Ryder Cup team is picked, there are always a few decisions to be dissected and criticized. This one feels different because of Live Golf. The automatic qualifiers for the team are Scotty Scheffler, Wyndham Clark, Brian Harmon, Patrick Cantley, Max Homa, and Xander Shoffley. The remaining six are Sam Burns, Jordan Spieth, Colin Morikawa, Ricky Fowler, Brooks Kepka, and Thomas. Johnson's reasons for his captain picks are digestible, but the selections reek of a 19th hole frat house, specifically Thomas. The U.S. has not won a Ryder Cup on European soil in 30 years. Johnson better start preparing his answers now if, when this group continues that streak. Leaving Keegan Bradley off this list feels regrettable. There are others. Cameron Young comes to mind. Not even considering live golfers Dustin Johnson, Patrick Reed, and Taylor Gooch is a mistake. Technically, they do qualify. They had the four major championships last year, counted in our points system. The four major championships counted in this year's point system. Johnson said, One of those individuals earned his way on our team, Brooks Kepka. He was inside the top six since his PGA Championship win. Johnson didn't say it, but Kepka winning the 2023 PGA Championship in May is the only reason he made this Ryder Cup roster. Technically, other live golf players like Johnson are eligible. I mean, they had opportunity, Johnson said. It's hard for a candidacy to be taken too seriously when the end of your tournaments are cut off in favor of an episode of the Goldbirds. When Johnson won the Live Tournament last May in Tulsa, the network carrying the event, the CW, cut away for the final holes in favor of previously scheduled programming. All of those players who went to Live Golf knew this scenario was in play, so not a one of them should be terribly surprised. The more likely scenario is that privately the American Live players who were ignored were a bit surprised that Thomas made this team over other PGA Tour players. Thomas has been a brilliant Ryder Cup player, which is the reason why Johnson picked him. In two other Ryder Cups, Thomas is 6-2-1, including a 4-1 mark in Paris in 2018. In the present, Thomas has not had a good year. Thomas missed the cut in three majors this year and did not qualify for the FedEx Cup playoffs. Even in the big money world of pro sports, Never underestimate the power of, it's not what you know, it's who you know. Especially if you know who Tiger Woods is. Friendships and relationships matter. It depends on the semantics of it all, Johnson said to my question of how much relationships matter in picking this roster. Relationships may be part of it, at the same time it's more. I mean, can these guys gel and be comrades together? The camaraderie of it. That's what I think you're probably getting at. That's the subjective side of what we do that weighs heavy into our decision making. You want guys to want to be together. If I were to go to some kind of index and say, we're going to go take the top 12, whatever that list may be, I'm not so sure that may be the best for 2023 in Rome. Anyone who looks at the U.S. Ryder Cup team for 2023 in Rome will say the same thing. Eh, yeah, I'm not so sure that may be the best team. What are your thoughts? Let me know what you think below. Is this the best team that they should be sending out there?